LA on air. Bray J and Kimberly here with you. What's Lana. up? Lana. Lana, we're going to miss you for this segment. This is Confessions with Lana, but Lana's not here today. So uh, we're just going to do confessions. Yeah, confessions. And Kimberly, you're about to tell me a confession. Oh, God. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Okay. My confession is that I've got a phobia of closing doors all the way. Explain that one to me. When did that start? I don't know. I've really always been that way. I just, I don't, I don't like to, maybe it's the type of claustrophobia or something. I just always like to leave doors cracked. Interesting. When did that start again? I've just always been that way. I can't really remember when it started. Hmm. Interesting. (laughs) Well, (laughs) from that confession to yours, here it is. Confessions on Elyon Air, since Lana's not here. I like to do the sexy voice for Lana. I try to, really. (laughs) You do well. You do well. Thank you. I try. (laughs) Here it is, y'all. The McNeese Confessions page on Facebook. Uh, Again. (laughs) Yeah. Because some crazy stuff comes up on that page. They do. Here it is, reading it to you. Uh, They post it. Can someone explain to me what the heck the loud siren sound is that I hear all over Lake Charles early in the mornings? It sounds like a tornado siren and lasts for about three to five minutes. What is it and why do they sound it off so much? If they are testing it, we all know that it works. (laughs) You can read some of the comments if you'd like. Oh, have you not lived in Lake Charles for the past 15 to 20 years? (laughs) It goes off every Monday to be tested. (laughs) Well, that was was pretty, pretty upfront. I was told for years, another comment, I was told for years that the sirens are when the plants release something. Hey, that's what I thought. That's (laughs) that's what I've believed, that it's like to warn people that they need to go indoors because there's something bad in the air. Something bad is out there. Ooh, it's going to get you. Take cover. (laughs) Run for your lives. Somebody says it's a hurricane alert or a tornado alert. That's possible, but, I mean, we haven't had that kind of weather recently. And, And you know what? To the person that ask this question, even though these people are making fun of you, most of them. To be honest with you, I really never noticed. I mean, if you're indoors, chances are you don't hear it, unless you're, you know, you're, you're in a thin building, you know what I mean, the walls mm-hmm. are thin, or, yeah. or if you're outside, maybe. and sometimes you can be outdoors and not hear it. I mean, it, it's just one of those things. I don't know. But, you're right. I'm glad they posted it. That was a legit question to put. Um, Okay, I guess we can read this one. You go ahead and read it. (laughs) This one's kind of funny so far. Okay, it says, I'm showering, and since I have a life-proof case on my phone, I'm able to bring my phone in the shower with me. Just in case anyone was wondering what I do in the shower, I listen to Brantley Gilbert and play Spider Solitaire. While they're in the shower. (laughs) That's pretty cool. Do you do that too? I actually do hold my phone when I'm, I'm, I'm in the tub. I play on my phone. Is it waterproof? No, it's not. I just be careful to never drop it. You might want to give it that person and find out. Where they got their case. Yeah. You might want to do it. Um, Nobody commented on that. Yeah. I I, kind of understand why. Uh, (laughs) This other one here says, I'm going to say this one more time. Don't start a conversation of with, hello, gorgeous, unless you are with a friend who understands you're being silly slash nice. I absolutely hate it when someone says those words to me. Thank you. But seriously, you think the fact you called me gorgeous is going to make me like you more? Ah. And... (laughs) Bring I hear on. this a lot. I hear Hello Gorgeous all the time. Do you? Yes, I do. If you ever look at my page, I mean, I kind of, I eat it up, but still, I hear that all the time. <laughs> Read some of the comments for us. Um, somebody says, um, Jesus, I think someone's tampon is in wrong. <laughs> oh, that's kind of, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody else says, if you have to post this on a confessions page, that means you are actually ugly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh babe. All righty then. <laughs> <laughs> and then this last one here, we're going to edit. It's what we do best here on the show. Shut up and take the damn compliment. You know I hope someone walks up to you one of these days and says, hello, you ugly radio Ooh. edit, radio edit. I bet then you would much rather someone come up to you just trying to be genuinely nice and give you a compliment. Also, just because someone starts off a convo with a compliment doesn't necessarily mean they're flirting or trying to get to you like them more. Something like that. Some people really are just nice people. Get the radio edit over yourself. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. So, 
to the person that posted. I guess you're going to finally accept it after that one. Yeah, just take the compliment. Hello, gorgeous. Yeah. Is it creepy when you say it like that? No, I mean... Hello, gorgeous. It depends on where you're standing when you say it. What, 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 <laughs> if you uh, lean in really what, close. What, what if I'm like this close to you? Hello, gorgeous. Is that a little strange? Uh, maybe just a little. Just a tad. 